Hey guys, my name is Siniac and welcome back to another episode of Foundation where guys, last episode we got so much stuff set up. We placed in so many new warehouses and we even got to the point now where we have got the iron smelting going down which is producing that sweet, sweet iron blocks. And I believe we got to the point too, if I, I, I can't remember where I placed down the building. It was one of these, wasn't it? We got a tailor's workshop. No, it's this one here. There we go. The blacksmith workshop. There, yeah. Which we're now producing our very own tools. I almost forgot for a second where that kind of building was. We also kind of built this a few episodes ago, which we yet to use it because I found out you can stick three gathering huts on one bunch of berries. There. Which is really helping us out because we need to get 100 berries in our reserve, which is crazy. It is crazy. So many people complain about food. A few of them are, which is inevitable. But then again, some people are, are lacking housing. So there's a few things I want to do today. I want to first build a church, something that we unlocked in the last episode. And I've kind of learned when I go to residential, see how this area is green? Well, this is the only place where it's currently desirable to try and, well, basically for our people to live in. Now, I found out how you can make other areas or make places more desirable. You've got places that have decorations and buildings and have good access to markets and stuff like that. And we're going to try and expand it, see if we can get it over to this area. I'm not sure if we'll be able to, but we're going to give it a go. You can kind of see how these little um, wows over here, if I zoom out, make it slightly desirable too. So pretty much we're going to give it a good go and see what happens. And I want to try and clear all this area, as you can now tell. The extraction is going up on here. So when all that's clear, we'll place down some more wheat farms to get some more bread created. It's going to be quite exciting. So I think what we'll do then, we'll first start with building this brand new church. Because we have at the moment a rustic church, which is this one, which look it's huge. It looks a little bit funky. So let's get a proper one in. So a rustic church. And I want to kind of build it here. And then if we can get some houses down there, it would be kind of cool too. So, right then, let's see. So, we have wooden extensions and we have stone extensions. Now, this one is stone to begin with. So, let's place this. Oh, this is going to be kind of tough now to kind of decide how we want to do this. Now, I want that entrance. Oh, this is going to be... Okay, hold on, I got a better idea. Let me cancel this. Um... There we go. Cancel that. What I'm going to do is actually buy some more territory and land. So let's buy this one. We'll buy this one because we've got quite a bit of money. We'll buy this one and this one. Just kind of spread it out a bit to get like a feel for where we're going. So this is a good little spot there we can buy all this with. And do I buy this one too? Okay, we, we've kind of run out of gold a little bit. Okay, we can actually buy it now. Boom, I'll buy it there. So the reason I just bought a few extra there... Is so we could, you know, we got more room for expansions looking pretty sweet. So I can get this set up so I can build the church kind of surrounded by the wilderness and the trees right now, which would be pretty cool. Okay, then back to the church. Oh, this is gonna be exciting. So, okay, so we can do theme stone, red, and blue. Now, if I did this core and um, turn it, I could do stone, red, or blue. Should we go red? Let's go for red. Okay, so let's drop. Is this the, the, the core? Yes. Okay, so let's place that here. Right. And let's make it a little bit chunkier, a little bit bigger, which looks pretty, pretty sweet. Um, okay, so we're going to need then a door. Which, where does the door go? Wait, is there something wrong with this building? Let me try again. I feel like it's slightly dug into the ground, if that makes sense. Church. Or is it me? I don't know. Right, anyway. Oh, maybe you can't put a door in this building. Maybe that's what it is. Right, make it a little bit bigger. And then extension A. Ah, there we go. This kind of makes sense a little bit now. We have extension B. Oh, this is going to be really good. Right, let's turn it round. Well, I can go on two sides. Let's do, let's, should I do a couple of cores? Right, try and rotate. 
have one there, a core there, and a core there. Bring it up slightly. There we go. So that's it so far. It doesn't look like much, but it looks so good in the end. Okay, extension. So we have these little smaller extensions we can play around with. So if I did that one there, that one there, and then we have a big tower. I won't throw the big tower there. We have a round tower. We have stained glass and gargoyles. This is kind of exciting, isn't it? We got these extensions. Can I squeeze that there and then bring that up? Because that fits in really, really nice there. Oh, and I might do the same design on the... Wait, hold on. So extension B. Like that. Oh my goodness me, this is going to be so dope. To kind of like... Look at the back of that. Now, I want to do the front of that the same too. Oh, this is exciting, guys. This is low-key exciting. Right, drop you in there. Extension B. Bring it up. Oh, no, I didn't mean to drag you away. Oh. Apologies, apologies. Right, rotate you around. This is this is going to be one hell of a church. i tell you that right now. Right, look at that. That is glorious. So we're going to need a door. Which we can place just there at the front, which looks kind of nice. Now let's do towers then. So we have big towers. Which... Oh, I placed one there. And you can, now you kind of can't see it. <laughs> okay, right. Let me get rid of you. Oh no, I deleted stuff on accident. Right. If that was placed there. That can... Yes, it merges in. Nice. Nice. Right. Sweet, sweet. That's gone back a little bit. There we go. Oh, look at that. That looks glorious, doesn't it? Right, move this door back into play. This is glorious. We also have the ability to do a round tower as well. I'm going to have to do the kind of same with this. Like, or should we leave that there at the back? Look how, That looks amazing, doesn't it, as, as a church? Right, we have crosses we can throw in. So one there, a cross there, a cross there. Uh, we've got gargoyles. If I can rotate it. Why won't it rotate? What's it doing? Right, it's a weird size, but it, it is what it is. Right, we can do stained glass apparently as well. Oh, you can fill it up. The oh my goodness me, that's amazing. Right, stained glass there. There as well. That brings that to life. And we'll do a couple more. We'll do two more on this side. There we go. Boom, there we go. Right, I'm happy with that. And it's all red, apparently. So it's going to cost so much stone. Uh, not as many planks, quite a bit of gold or whatnot. Um, oh, there's some glass there that we don't even have. Okay, let's start construction of that. We don't actually have physically all the materials because we don't have glass, which is interesting. So we have no glass whatsoever, do we? No. Hmm. So we're going to have to buy some glass, which will be interesting then. Okay, so trade, trading resources, glass, um, 
We want tw we need 20 basically. So buy 20. Um who who do we buy glass off? Oh, okay, we can actually buy it off somebody already. But we don't have the storage needs for it just yet, do we? So that'll be interesting to see what happens there. But I feel like we should also build another warehouse for goods that we don't quite have yet. But then again, can yeah. We okay, we will. We will. We'll do that as well. So, uh, warehouse. We have a little bit of room. Oh, there we go. Rotate, rotate. We have a bit of room here. Just squeeze it in. And let's select this to be priority. Get that built first. Okay. So, while they do that then... Let's our look at look at the, look at the design of it. it. Looks really cool. Ourselves now. Let's try and make um, th this area, if we can, more desirable. And by that, we're gonna build like because wells really improve it. So we'll do the odd well. We'll do one there, one there, because these really do help the desirability. One there, one there. We'll drop one there as well. And see how that goes. We also have decoration, which is handy too. Now, again, let me just go to the uh, residential here. There is no... Oh, oh, okay. So this... This church has made it very desirable. I didn't have to do too much to it. But this, this little band here is not very desirable. And I want to make it desirable. So let's see if the decorative bushes... Uh, bushes? Bushes? Bushes make a difference. So I'm going to place some of these around here. Um, by the Lord's Manor. And there we go. Just, you know, bring this place to life slightly. That looks pretty cool. Does it do much difference? Oh, wow. It really does. Okay. It really, really does. Okay. What other decorations are there? We have fountains. Okay. I'll save the fountain for something else. We can um, pl place an arch in. Cypress, which is a tree here. So let's do some of these by the docks. Because obviously, the more desirable these places are, the better for us. And let's put that to life a little bit here. Right, okay, what I'm going to do is also make this the residential area. So they can all move in. Right, we're getting now rid of the... Oh, keep that extraction bit there. Get rid of the extraction zone going around this. Because they'll, they'll naturally remove the trees themselves. As they build more and more stuff down. Oh, this is so cool. So we are going to need to get a market around here. But I'll wait until they get a few more houses. And, nah, or do I just kind of place the market down now? I think that might be the best option for us. Uh, mark it. Here we go. So we're going to place down... Oh, wrong button. So the nearest market then is there or up here. So yeah, this is a good spot for one here. So we pretty much want... Free food stalls, right? We'll do a luxury goods one. Which we'll place here and we'll do a good stall there we go um we'll place down some benches then so we do these in like various spots like there some barrels Let's get these round every so often. Try and look at make it look at as markety as possible. Alright, we've got a fence here. Triple a couple of fences down. Make you feel like you are entering the market zone. This is pretty sweet. Uh, fence. 
There we go. Okay, so I think that's good. I mean, we could get a good stall sign. Maybe. Ooh, a red tent for this. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I didn't think about doing this stuff before. <laughs> right, red tent. Right, we'll, we'll just keep it like that. We'll just keep it... Oh, that actually looks really good. Okay, we'll do a blue tent for the, this one. And we'll do a green tent for this one. Just because. Literally just because. Okay, let's start the build of that then. Right, we got a lot of stuff that we want them to now build. We have many stuffs that we want them to build. Uh, this is going to be a long way off. I don't suppose we've had the delivery of glass. Well, I don't think we'll have the delivery of glass yet. We've got to designate that warehouse to be something. But let's fast forward. Let's get it rocking and rolling. There is so much stone that needs to be used today. It's going to be quite fun to see it all used. All right, someone's apparently is bringing the stone. I'm not sure from where or how far back they're coming from. Where are they? Ah, they're just here right now. So hopefully that warehouse can get built. Then we can designate glass to be stored there. There we go. So we'll store the glass here and assign a villager. Nice. Right. We have a lot of these fishing docks here that are not used yet or no one's working there just yet. Now, desirability, how much have you gone up? Okay, not much in this area. So maybe we need a few extra... Does it cost us to build these bushes, by the way? Oh, it's just gold. Okay. Make the dock area nice. A few little plants. It's quite cool, isn't it? Place a few around here. Filling all the little nooks and crannies. Which is pretty sweet. It is quite cool, isn't it, to throw this kind of stuff down. Should get some behind the stalls. That would be quite nice, won't it? <laughs> yes, Sadiac, yeah, that would be lovely. Right, okay. Residential. <clears throat> Look at that. It's desirable. Come on, it's desirable. Right, okay. So, right now, where are we? Where are we? So how far they've chopped this down? They're actually getting pretty far with chopping this whole field and stuff down. Which is pretty cool. Keep it going, boys. Keep it going. Uh, we can may also think about now building the wheat farm. The white wheat farm. Which we'll kind of pull it in the trees. So we've got all this lovely area for them to harvest. And I'm going to actually build another warehouse here too. Reason for that is we're going to store some wheat in there. Right, help out the king, uh, which would be fairly easy for us. It's all fish. Now, I'm going to keep it all for now because we don't have it that much fish. But again, m more building stuff I'm trying to get them to get done. This is crazy. So many m new people joining us too. Um, so it looks like we're going to need some more stone then. Not enough stone is being created. I don't know whether I need to think about hiring more stone cutters. Where's our next set of stone? Okay, it's over here is the next chunk which is quite out of the way so I don't know whether I don't know whether we need to focus on the stone or it could be the fact that we've got so many buildings underway at the moment that they're just like you know stealing all the stone that we possibly need but we have a lot of tools that need to be used not so many planks this time around a bit of gold lying around too and some glass 
So that's going to take ages. I'm, 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 I'm now only just realizing the... Uh, the situation going down right now. I'm now only just realizing it. It's quite crazy, isn't it? And how's this market going? So it needs it needs cloth and stuff. Oh, that's how you made the little canopy things. Nice. The little tent, should I say. Interesting. Okay, right. Right, 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 right. We're right. We have a lot of, um, um, what they call it, wells too that we need to build. There's one. And they cost stone as well. Oh, now just re yeah, I am realizing how much this is gonna take up everything. Right, it, it maybe is, maybe isn't worth doing another stone camp thing. And there's they're taking some here from this one. Oh, we don't have all the stone cutters like there, so we can hire more there. That's maybe why it's slacking a little white a little bit. So that'll start producing more stone for us now, which that's probably all we need to do to keep the constant momentum going. That should be pretty sweet. Um, right. How many builders do we have? We have quite a few builders. How many unemployed? Uh, quite a few. Okay, we'll apply. We'll get two more builders. To help out. Two more builders to help out. What about the lack in food? The food front. Okay. So, we need to think now then how we can possibly get more food in. So... We've overloaded that berries, then berries, these berries too. The next nearest one is this one over here. So let's overload these berries by getting more berries, of course. So gathering hut then. We pretty much want two more gathering huts. And can we prioritize these to be built? And then we can get more people on the berries. Berries! There's quite a few berries stored over here too, isn't there? So we're just waiting for that when where it says waiting for builder on these little sections here just to pop up going, oh, there we go, there's one. Antonia is bringing 10 wood, which is all it needs. The wood is coming from a really, really far way away. Which we was going to set up a brand new wood industry, wasn't we? We really was. This is a lumber camp here. That's a lumber camp there. We was going to set up a brand new wood industry, which I think we'll probably do like over here, maybe. Because this is now going to be our church. I've only just remembered we're going to set a, you know, that industry up down here somewhere. <coughs> just because it's a very long way for them to walk with the current wood to get to these places, these areas. Right. How's it going over here, then? So this has got the wood. That doesn't quite have the wood, but someone's coming to build anyway. Oh, someone's requested an audience, boys. Let's pause it. Let's see what they're requesting. I'll send my troops right away. There we go. We get a free territory and stuff. So set these noobs up for battle. And send them. Nice. So, we're still on the task of building a church. Oh, it's actually been built. Oh, the roof is red. That's sweet. That's sweet. Okay. Alright, we built the two gathering huts as well. So, oh, apply the three people working on that one. Apply the three peeps working on that one. Uh, how many are now in unemployed? Okay, still, we still got some spares. <laughs> some spares peeps. We have no one in this keep yet. We only built that one to get a splendor, which I feel like we need to build a lot more soon anyway. So the housing is slowly starting to expand now. This is crazy. As the desirability continually changes. Ooh, baby. Houses are upgrading. So we've got all this area over here which they can expand into. So if anyone's complaining about lacking um, housing, it's because the housing's not being built yet because everyone's focusing on building this. Right, should we assign this to be priority now? 
Yeah, let's let's assign this to be priority now. We've got plenty of planks of wood that we can throw in there. I think we are literally just waiting for the stone. Aren't we? So where's any of our other stone cutting camp? Well, we, we, we can, you know, possibly just build another stone cutting camp here. Which I think we'll do. Stone cutting camp. We'll just squeeze this one here. Oh, let's just drop two down. Well, there we go. Get rid of that one. Boom. Prioritize, boy. Can we get five more working on that block of stone then? Try and get as much stone as possible because we really do need it. We've got a long way to build that church. So we'll wait for that one to be built then. <clears throat> More villagers are joining. We've got over 200 villagers right now. That's crazy. This church has a capacity of 260. So that's a, that's not far off reaching its capacity, that rustic church. So it's a good job we are building this next church right now. So they're, like, they're building the little drips and drabs now of the stone. Like One's bringing 12, one's bringing 2, one's bringing 3. So just little bits on their way. <laughs> little bits. Still got another, you know, 200 to go. But it will get there. Right, they're building. Oh, we have no transporters in here? No. See, that's the thing that's kind of annoying, is... You don't know when people don't work there, or, you, or I forget if I assigned anybody to work there. Oh, we've got the glass, though. That's good. We've got the glass. So we've got the work on the stone now, so I, I assume they can do their best to get things to where they need to go. Still waiting for a builder over here. Your soldiers are back from the mission. Nice! Which... It's always successful. We have got the best. The best warriors right now. Right, should I just import in the next trade? Is anyone selling stone? No one's selling stone, so that's no good. That's no good. I could build a bridge over to here and get this stone, but it means building a bridge out of stone. <laughs> that is like literally... Ah, that's, that's two steps backwards. Pretty much. So when the soldiers get back here then, we should have... Um, some wine, ten battle fingers, and a free territory. Right, let's we see what territory we're going to get. Um, oh, man. There are so many we could potentially go for. But do we go for the island? I mean, there's not really much on the island, is there? Thinking I'm just going to get this one here, because the direct connection to over there. Expand some residential back there. I want to... I'm going to build the, um, the wood hut kind of thing there, but... At the same time, it's not needed just yet. It's not needed just yet. But the stone cutting camps are heavily needed. And this is... is this, well, I can't even select this one. There we go. I'm going to destroy it. Because I'm having a feeling like it's in an awkward position. So I'll just place it there. Prioritize it now. And I'm thinking of signing some more builders. So how many people have we got now? Yeah. So a builder and a builder. So two more builders to get some more work done. There's still lots of wells and houses to be built. Well, what do they want? They want berries. Oh, man, this is tough. So if they wanted berries, it's going to increase this. Which I need 50. But then once I unlock it, I'm going to need to borrow that stuff. So let's do the church. Because we can get all the splendor from building this. So we do this one. Send those berries. And we got the points there ready. When we unlock this next one, we get to 50. Which we should do when we've built this. Because look at how many we're going to get. Splendors. Damn, boy. It's a lot of splendors. It's a lot of splendors. Okay, right, so we've got 14 uh, brick there. Oh, they're bringing the gold over now, some more planks as well. So a lot more progress is now going to take place as we get more builders on the way to it. A lot more stuff is happening right now. Now we've got more builders on the scene. 
But still nobody wants to build the stone camp. Alright, if I take that off priority, I think that's what it was. And then that's now on priority. Let's see how this changes. Because the stone is what's... There we go. Someone's bringing the, um, the wood now. It is the stone that's slowing us down. We still need over 100 to go. And it's pure chomp, chomp, chomp with the, uh, with the hammer. Because you got to think, we've got so many other buildings that we're trying to build too. <clears throat> and this is the one thing that I haven't really paid much attention to, is the stone. Ooh, as I just bang my cup of tea off the table. Right. So they brought the wood then. Which is good to see. They're now building this. We still need the uh, the tools. Which the tools don't come from too far. <clears throat> Two new villagers joining. So where's this male? Okay, they're on the way over. So they're going to first grab the tools, right? Or they, do they already have the tools? Oh no, he was just coming to do some construction work. That's literally all he was doing. Hey, right, now he's going to get the tools. Sweet boy. Right, we should have this now completed. Right, any moment now. Right, assign five workers on there. And then go back to prioritizing this. <clears throat> so we've now five additional workers cutting stone. It's going to help us out big time right now. That's going to help us out big time. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're now prioritizing the church. <clears throat> which a lot of them now coming over to build it. A lot of them on the construction side. Houses are upgrading. Because you got to think we've got all these houses to then eventually build. We've got all those wells to eventually build. We've got the market to build. We've got the warehouse over here to build. We've got the wheat farm over here to build as well. There was so much more stuff we do need to actually physically build. Right, how many unemployed now? Because we're going to set these to fishermen. Okay, we got enough. All right, is there one there? Yeah. A sign, a sign, a sign, and a sign. So we've got loads more fishermen or fisherwomen. And um, that's going to make us produce more fish. And more fish equals more food. Yay. This church is coming along really, really nice. This is exciting. <clears throat> Okay then. So they're bringing more stone over. Slowly but surely. That's not. That's just now tick less than a hundred to go. So that's ticking over quite nicely now. Uh, bringing over the tools. What's needed? Do we have enough tools? Yeah, we got loads of tools in the bank. Good, 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 good. And then the big thing then is just literally, you know, constructing it. So just going there to start, you know, smacking it with a hammer. There is so many buildings. And what's annoying as well now is the fact that because this church takes so long and all the focus is on the church, the houses are not being built. So a lot of people are going to start moaning. But we'll be on the way eventually anyway. There's so many different paths and walkways to the church. It's quite cool to see. Yeah, boy. Well, it's got a, yeah, it's got a villager on. Which is the one that didn't have a villager on? I can't remember which one it, which one it was. That we spied that didn't have a villager on it. It was a stone camp, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, anyway. Literally less than 60 more stone needs to be thrown over there. No one's even bought any planks over here, have they? Oh, unless no, Unless there was 60 to start with. And then just bring them slowly. But we should, yeah, we see, we should see, start seeing some more boats now come through. More fish. More fish, boys. More fish being distributed. Okay, we've got over 200 berries in the bank right now in our reserves. How crazy is that? That's ridiculous. That's when you know we're doing a good job. 
But the question is, does the market have the berries? All right, they've got one berry. So maybe, because this one's so bulky over here. I'm going to sign another villager to work on it. To distribute the goods. Hmm. Okay, we've got 19 stone there. Ready to be collected. And they're still yet to bring over the glass. Oh, look at the house coming all the way over to this side now. That, that's that's crazy to see it come all the way over to there. Right, now, do I just assign more builders to get this done? Because I'm going to unassign a bunch of builders after. Right, there we go. I've assigned quite a few n brand new builders. So hopefully they can now just demolish this church and get it all up and running and then demolish all the other buildings that need to be done. We need to go on a building spree. Look at how, look at the queue of people right now ready to start building. A lot of them are bringing glass over too. Which is cool to see. Yeah, boy. This is exciting, isn't it? Okay, right. This is almost there. They've still got a few little towers to build and whatnot. And the center core building too. But it's looking pretty damn fancy for a church. Pretty damn fancy if I do say so myself. Alright, keep bringing the goods. Keep bringing those goods. They're bringing the glass too. So, yeah. Because there's glass, obviously that means we can eventually produce glass. But we haven't got to that stage just yet, have we? So we need to look at then what's next. So this stuff here, uh, all that's left, left to get there is a tax office, which requires 50 splendor. We've only got 33. This one we need to get, there's a hunter's hut, there is a keeper, keep big something I assume, and a weapons smith, which again we need more splendor for that. We've got all the stuff to buy it with. We just need to unlock the splendor. Now, the clergy, which is the faith stuff, which we should have this completed when we've done the church, unlock the, the 50 level ones, which is a monastery. Um, herb something, which is all stuff to do with the monastery. So we can then eventually build a monastery too. That would be pretty cool, but I don't feel like we need that for a long time. But next episode, we, need to we, we probably need to focus on unlocking the hunter's hut. Another way to get food in this place. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? That would be pretty cool. All right, two new villagers have joined the village. We're up to 219 right now. A lot of them are lacking, uh, lacking food and uh, shelter and stuff like that. But we'll, that that will all get, be up and running very soon. Look at this. Look at the bulk of food we got over there. Are these berries over here starting to bulk up too? No. I feel I think these are the ones where they're being used the most or taken from the most. Yeah. The market's got berries, fish, and bread. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Okay. Right. Um, stone. We've got all the stone. Um, house upgrading. We've almost got all the tools. It's just 10 more planks needed, which they're bringing the planks over now as we speak. All the glass is done, all the gold is done, so it's just that little extra planks that they're bringing now, a few extra tools, then it's just solid construction on this church. Solid construction is left on this church. And then it's freaking done. Oh man. It's going to be so magnificent when it is done. It's going to be so magnificent when it is done. Okay, they're bringing the last few planks, bringing the last few tools. We got this, boys. We have got this. Right, so who are we helping them? Um, so should we do the, this one? Fish. Okay, we don't quite have the fish just yet in stock. Oh, there we do. Boom. And now we've got a few extra more building bits, but we don't have enough. Splendor to unlock it, but we got the building bits anyway for when we do. Which is pretty cool. Okay. Right. I'm getting really, really excited now. Because all I have to do is construct this church. The well is now complete. The first one, which is just there. 
This is where now they start building other stuff. I can see the well just there being built too. Being constructed and it'll be underway very shortly. Well complete. So the desirability right now is really, it really has expanded. Wow. It really has expanded. More wells are being built left, right and center right now. This is amazing. The market is being built up too. The church construction site, all it's left is to build it. Another well being built too. Houses are being built. Everyone's loving it. Right, this market as well has got a lot of construction. Oh, we've got an envelope to the audience with the king image jig. I deploy my troops right away, sir. Right away. Right, there we go. Send them. Get a brand new territory eventually. Okay. Oh, more houses have been built in the middle. Nice. So the nearest well is there. There's one well there, and there's a well over there as well. So it's all within the range of this. We could always drop one in the middle. Right, this church built. Yeah, it's so close to being built. Ah, oh, they needed one more tool. One more tool was needed. All the cloth is now coming for the market too. Right, there's that last tool coming in for the church, as you can now see. Bam! Right, pause. We've got a brand new tier of unlockables. Splendor! Splendor, splendor, splendor! How crazy is this? The splendor of your village has unlocked a new tier of unlockables. We've got, oh man, there is so many we can actually get right now. So many! Right, okay, before we do that then, still can't hire any priests. But hey ho, uh, that's now done. We now got a capacity for religion, like very very high. This only takes ninety eight, so it's not a, a huge amount, but it will do the job. Look how glorious this building looks. It looks so glorious right now. Okay, with that done, all those builders that we originally hired are now building a gazillion other things. A gazillion other things right now. So that's kind of interesting to see. So, did it unlock anything new, like here? Uh, not that I can see. Nothing new has been unlocked there. So it is just this stuff then. So we can unlock the monastery. We can unlock the um, the herb garden, the apiary, and apparently we can't get the copy room. Or have we got to build the monastery to get the copy room. Hmm, I don't know. So, I take it all that falls under the monastery. Yeah. Which, which that needs the actual um, stone blocks. So, that's interesting to see that getting built too. But again, that's something that we'll do eventually in the future. And there's all cool things that are added to the monastery as well. That will be pretty sweet to see. Right, how many peeps do we have unemployed? Because we've got to hire eventually those to the market. We've got a few. That's all good. Right, they keep bringing the cloth, but we more need more cloth. Um, there's not enough cloth or cloth. There actually isn't, is there? Not enough wool as well. So it's because there's not enough wool. That is not enough cloth or materials. So we might need to build another sheep farm. That would be pretty exciting to get down. Maybe build it on this side up here. That would be pretty sweet. Let's make sure then quickly that there's no, res no, there's no residential zone in there. So we can build a sheep farm there eventually. And get some more wool coming into this place. Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. Um, okay. Right, another warehouse done. Where did that warehouse get done? It's up here, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll assign this to be wheat. So assign all of this to be wheat. Hi, dude on it. The back from the mission. So we'll get some brand new stuff in our pockets. Another house is done. This is exciting, man. Just, just, just take a moment. Look, look at how glorious our little settlement is. Our little civilization. You know, pretty much from a distance. It's damn 
damn cool. It's so damn cool. Right. Okay, so we need one more cloth then to finish up this marketplace, which, um, well, we got the free territory right now, right now, which we're just waiting for right now, which someone should be bringing very soon. People are walking around with boxes and I'm not sure which box is for which. <laughs> Anyone coming over from here? Okay, there's someone there coming with a box. Are they for the market? Oh, yeah. Right, so the market should be built now then. Yes. Which, hold on. We've unlocked a new tier of unlockables. Yay. Which is this one, which is now the tax office. And we've still got this one to work on, but we'll take a look at the tax office next episode anyway. But let's just get this up and running. So berries, bread, and fish. Um, wine, herbs, honey. We have none of those yet. Well, we can have some clothes. So, assign a one in each. We do have, we actually do have a quite a bit of wine, don't we? So, why don't we select some of the wine to be placed in there? Do we still have them? Well, we have 170 wine. So, that'll be interesting. Um, okay, they're all assigned to work there. Do we have any other, like, there is another market somewhere with a luxury stand, isn't there? This one. All right, we'll assign that to be wine. And, yeah, there is someone working there, too. That is the only one. Okay, right. There we go. Brand new market now all set up. We've built the brand new wheat farm. Which will assign three villagers. And who is now unemployed? So, there's a couple still unemployed. We still have a lot of them that are builders, which we can change if we need to be. Which we probably will, but we'll get that done next episode. Another wheat farm now all set up, which is pretty cool for us. The extraction over here continues as we push it all the way to the borders. There we go. Get rid of all those trees, which will be pretty cool to see. So we have some extraction here, which is no longer needed. But I suppose we could push it back to here as well. Um, keep that line of trees in there, which is pretty cool. We'll get rid of all this extraction. And then we'll apply it to this. Because eventually we're going to turn this like into a wood industry around here, but I just want to get some more housing and stuff down first. It's all going the right direction. Okay, so what can people complain about now then? Lacking the clothing and shoes, as you can now see. So we really do need to produce more wool. Now, is that something I can buy from any of these people? Uh, oh, I can buy wool. Okay, we're going to unlock this trade route here. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. And wool, wool, wool. We will buy until inventory reaches 100. So at, at that point there, even if we're not producing the wool, we're buying enough in to produce all the cloth and the clothing. So everyone should be happy. Everyone should low-key be happy. Right, guys, a lot of progression has happened today. I hope you have enjoyed this episode of Foundation as we progress in the next episode to go even higher and higher in this world. We've got to unlock or we've got to work with the uh, tax office. We get to work with the monastery and hopefully we can get towards unlocking the hunter's den thing and the wooden keep and eventually the uh, weaponsmith so we just get this stuff sorted which we'll do in the next episode again guys hope you did enjoy if you did smash that like button down below and until next time i'll see you all soon so good